Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I asked you guys on Instagram, oh my God, I haven't even seen the results. I just saw the results after like a minute. I asked you guys what look you wanna see and I think most of you said soft glam. Yes, you did. Majority of you guys voted for this look on this side. So that's the look I'm gonna do today. I don't actually remember the exact products I used, for that look but I'm gonna recreate it. I think this look will be really good for Eid as well because we're all at home probably not gonna be seeing many people. Well we shouldn't be, we should be staying home. I just like this look so much like I love a soft smoky matte eye. It's like one of my fave looks. I'm gonna get right into it. I'm gonna try a new foundation today. This is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. I've been sent the shade Pecan which is 18. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, he's got pump. I'm not sure if this is gonna work for me. Should work fine. The color looks good on the back of my hand. I'm gonna cover up my friend there first. It's quite a liquidy foundation, like it's running all down my hand. So it's probably really good for this weather because that means it's not very heavy on the skin. It's a light formula, so that doesn't necessarily mean light coverage, it just means the texture of the formula is on the lighter side so hopefully it's going to be nice and breathable because it's so hot today so so hot i'm actually melting i forgot to mention i prepped my skin with the charlotte tilbury magic cream i actually used that twice because my skin's feeling really dry that's actually a really good shade match let's hope it doesn't change much throughout the day because it's matching my neck quite well. I am going to put another layer of this on though because whenever I do eyeshadow I generally like to have my base really flawless even if it is soft glam and I feel like with this foundation you can build it up. I don't think it's gonna like feel heavy or look cakey with a second layer. And then for my concealer I'm using the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer in Medium Golden to cover up my dark circles and my spot and I'm gonna let that sit for a little while and I might as well do my bronzer while I'm here or my contour rather so for my contour I'm using cinnamon from Bare Minerals this oh my god this is just a Bare Minerals look this was not meant to be just <laughs> Bare Minerals I will use other brands in a minute um, but I do just really like this foundation stick it's the Complexion Rescue in a stick formula. I like this one. It's in a darker shade I, I like to just contour with this because it's just such an easy way of doing it because it's already in a stick It's just really simple to use and because it's a foundation shade the color is like a natural It's not too orange. It's not too gray. It's just a nice skin color Okay, this foundation is making it super hard to blend this out I've never had so much trouble with this stick concealer I'm actually gonna clip my hair to the side using these hair clips these are game-changing and I wish I got these sooner I always mess up my hair while I'm doing my makeup these just make sure that you don't get any kinks in your hair while you keep it out of the way super helpful now the concealer has sat on my skin for a while i'm gonna now blend it out so hopefully that should have given me a little bit more coverage okay and now to highlight that area i'm gonna use my tarte shape tape in the color light sand all of the products will be linked in the description box below if you're interested and I'm just gonna use the same foundation brush to blend this out. And then blending that out with my beauty blender as well. And then because this is a soft glam, I am gonna set my under eyes with Laura Mercier. If this was more heavy of a look and that really heavy eyeshadow and stuff, I would use the Huda Beauty powder because that one's really, really flawless. But this one, 
is also really good like obviously it's a massive cult favorite for a reason and then i'm really setting my eyelids because i can see that they keep getting creased because it's so hot today <laughs> now for my eyes i am gonna use the meat matte trimini palette this is a super old palette but it just works so well for looks like these so i'm gonna use a mix of these shades i'm probably gonna use these two here and then the grayish brown at the top and then these two probably i'm going to use a fluffy big blending brush to begin with i'm going to use my sigma e40 and i'm going to dip into this color right here and the reason i love this palette so much is because it's got these neutral shades but they're not too warm and i feel like a lot of palettes have really really warm shades now like oranges and corally tones which is super nice and really nice for asian skin but like there's just something about gray tones and like cool tone browns when you want to do a matte smoky eye so this one i'm just putting into my crease to give me a little bit of definition there because most of the smokiness i'm going to do from the lash line going upwards so there's not going to be a whole lot in the crease anyway but just to give me a little something in the crease i am just putting this light brown next i am taking the grayish color into my lash line i'm using this angled brush and it's a bit of a thicker angle brush so it's going to be nice and blended out hopefully once i put it on my lash line yep that is exactly what i wanted so this is kind of like just acting as like a softer shadow so that when we put the darker colors they've got something to blend into and I'm all, almost creating like a V with this shadow by connecting it to the colour that's in the crease. And I'm bringing that about two thirds of the way in to my lash line. Now I'm taking this flat shader brush. This is a smoky shader 234 from Zoeva. Love Zoeva brushes. And I'm going to take this one over here. I'm gonna put this as close to the lash line as I can. I'm not using a really thin wing liner brush for a reason because I don't want it to be really, really concentrated. I, I still want that like smoky effect. So just building up this color slowly. I think the key to having a really nice smoky eye is just being patient and using a little bit at a time because when you put too much on in one go it can be difficult to blend it out even with the most buttery smooth eyeshadows. So just be patient and build up the product slowly. And then I'm just going back to the other brush occasionally to make sure all the edges are nicely blended in. And then once I get closer to the inner corner, like I'm not going all the way in, but I'm just going to concentrate the product a little bit closer to the lash line over here. So I don't want it to be too blown out towards the front. Now with a 317 wing liner, I'm going to take my black eyeshadow and this is going super close to my lash line. I'm basically just drawing on eyeliner with a black shadow now and just winging it out really softly and then i've just taken a little bit of the lightest shade this like creamy bone color on the tip of my finger and just pressed very slightly above the shadow and that's just gonna make the eyeliner pop because then you'll have like a creamy color that it contrasts to now we're gonna move on to brows that's the quickest eye look ever and then for my brows, I'm using my Brow Powder Duo in Medium Brown by Anastasia. And then I'm going to set my brows in place with the Clear Brow Gel from Anastasia. And then I'm going to do the shadow on the bottom quickly. That's the quickest I look ever. And I'm going to take matte lopez actually the warmer color and then i'm gonna dip it into this one really close to my lash line okay i've just had a look at the picture again and i can see that like in my crease i used a bit of a warmer shade so i'm gonna use matte lopez the one that i just used and i'm going to take a fluffy brush this is the 228 from zoeva i'm going to use matte lopez and i'm just going to lightly take that through my crease 
it's kind of like on top of the first color that we used. So I'm gonna curl my lashes and then use the Urban Decay Cannonball Mascara. This one is really good because it's waterproof, it holds the curl, but also the wand is on the skinnier side, so it's really good to get right into the lower lashes and really separate them and make them look nice and soft, which really helps with the whole like smoky underneath look. Little tip. Got it on my nose, didn't I? Actually, it's on my eye. You're actually not supposed to do that to mascara because you'll end up with a black mark like I have. So just leave it and flick it off at the end. I just don't have the patience for that. Now I'm gonna pop on my favorite lashes at the minute. They are Alice by Doll, Doll Lashes or Doll Beauty? Doll Beauty. Doll Lashes by Doll Beauty. The Alice Lash is so nice. It's so soft and wispy. If you're not a huge lash person, try these ones. They're so good because I'm not huge on lashes personally. I think they just take over my face and like I, I can't rock them like most people can, uh, but these ones I love. So I'm just gonna put these on and I'll be right back. Okay, lashes are on and I'm gonna move on to a bronzer now. I'm using the Bare Minerals Seamless Shaping and Finish Brush and the Laura Mercier Matte Bronzing Powder in number one, Soleil. And I actually like to bronze this area, which is a little bit weird, but if you go like across your face, it gives a much more natural bronze to your look. And then you don't have this like white circle around your face. And it also gives this like hugging your cheek illusion. So it actually lifts the cheekbones too. Oh, also a little update on the foundation. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I think it's dried down a little bit darker. And then for my blusher, I think I used this one. This is Fresco from Laura Mercier. This one's really nice because it's got a little bit of shimmer in it. For my highlighter, I think I used the Laura Mercier one as well, which looks so nice. Look at that. This is in the shade Indiscretion. And then all of those complexion products cover up my two beauty spots. And I don't know why a lot of people don't like it when I do this, but I'm going to continue to because I really like to do it. So I'm gonna carry on. I'm gonna fill in my beauty spots. And there's always a dark brown in a palette that works perfectly. And then for my lips, I'm not sure if I used a lip liner or not. It looks like I did. The one I used was probably, oh yes, I know which one I used actually, did I? I think I used the Laura Mercier lip liner in Hazelnut Tea. I love this and when I was just googling it because I was obsessed with it, I realised this actually went quite big online like a while ago because Mario used it on Kim. And I'm going a little bit softer with this just because I don't want to have like a whole opaque colour under my lip gloss. I just want it to be really sheer with the lip gloss. But this is just giving me a little bit of definition. And I'm blending out the inside edge of, edge of that, inside edge. I'm really softening that lip liner. Wearing a lip liner with your lip combo just takes your lips to another level, honestly. And then I'm finishing off with the best lip gloss ever. I'm obsessed with this lip gloss and it's super cheap. And I think one of the reasons I love this so much is because of the colour. It's like, not like your normal pinky nude. It's a little bit deeper, which just gives you the most juicy lips. I've linked to this a few times. One of the places I linked to, you guys made it sell out. So, looks like you guys really like this too. Honestly, I cannot recommend this lip gloss enough. And it does actually make your lips look bigger as well. It's got that plumping ingredient. And then a little tip that I really like to do is take the lip gloss right onto the edge of your lip. So just like really on the the edge and that makes your lips look so much fuller because when it catches the light on that edge mate try it try it next time you put lip gloss on okay and that completes this makeup look obviously set your makeup with some setting spray which one should I use today actually 
So that wraps up this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Let me know if you like this makeup look. Let me know if you try it out. I would love to see your recreations. If you post it on Instagram, tag me. I would love to see. And one last thing, make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you want to join me. Please do, I would love to have you. And hit the like button if you found this video helpful. It helps me out a ton. Apparently it helps with the algorithm. I don't know, but just give me a like if you like this video. And Eid Mubarak, hope you guys had a wonderful Ramadan and hope you have an amazing Eid, whatever you get up to. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. See them and they ain't worth your time. Baby, don't waste your wine.